Okay, so I just had delivered my uh, new Drift Ghost X uh, camera. So it's what I'm going to be using in 2019 for the uh, vlogging on the bike. Uh, I've given up on the uh, GoPro. I'm just fed up with the buggy software and firmware. And just, yeah, they, they never work properly. Um, so love the picture, but yeah, too many problems. So I've gone for this, and I haven't gone for the premium 4K model. I've gone for the Ghost X, um, which is 1080p, and it's 30 frames a second. But, you know, I think it's a, a fairly decent picture from what I've seen. So, uh, yeah, let's get this over. I have to excuse the, the filming. Um, my other camera is broken. Um, so, inside we've got this little... Uh, device here let's see what's in in this little box here okay so a quick jump to open it because i'm doing it one-handed and uh, got a, a few various cables in there uh, we'll see what those are in a minute it looks like the uh, two mounting uh, brackets that come with it and a usb cable um, i've also ordered a um, 128 gig SD card, which is the maximum you can put in this, um, which should be fine for what I need it for. I'm not going for hours on end. Um, and obviously you can slip another battery in there anyway. So, uh, so yeah, not, not too bad. All right, let's get this bit out. Okay, so I've actually got the camera out for some reason fastened it into the back of the cardboard like that there is no way I'm going to do that one-handed you've got a little uh, LCD green backlit LCD screen there uh, you've got the buttons on top all looks fairly uh, fairly secure and weatherproof so I think it's IPX44 this so it's not fully waterproof but it's uh, it's weather resistant I think is what they say so um, Lots of people have said that, you know, they've been in the pelting rain uh, doing their, of course, doing the legal limit. And, uh, yeah, no no problems whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, don't need a case for this. Okay, so I've actually uh, detached the camera now. Um, don't know whether you can see that, but there is actually a, uh, a little screw in you. You don't have to unscrew this. You just turn this. And it turns around and loosens it off out the back of there. So it is, uh, it's not a bad design, really. It kept it in place, I suppose. Um, so what else have we got in this box? We've got the uh, quick guide. Yeah, I'm hoping that's in multi-languages because that doesn't look very quick otherwise. Uh, a few stickers. Always good with the stickers. And that's it, that's your lot. So let's get this bag open. Okay, so we've got the bag open. And we've got a uh, USB to 3.5 mil um, microphone jack. So I've actually ordered the external microphone as well, um, which is, in my opinion, <laughs> quite expensive for what it is. You know, it's uh, I think it's 17 pound. I paid for it. I put the link below um, off Amazon. And yeah, it it doesn't look like a 17 quid's worth of uh, kit if you ask me but you know everybody says it works so I'm going with that because that was my biggest bugbear with the GoPro. I had the session um, it was real hit and miss whether it would actually record your voice or not if you pressed a quick start no definitely didn't work they said they'd fix that definitely haven't so yeah <laughs> as you can tell I'm not the biggest fan of GoPro anymore. Um, these are the two mounts. I think we've got a straight one, and I don't know whether you can see that, but you've also got a curved one as well. Uh, got a charging cable, standard USB. Oh, it's, the, it's the thick type actually. It's not. It's not a standard anymore, but uh, yeah, still uh, plenty of them about. And then you've got these two little things that look like the iPhone or other phone um, removal. Uh, tools and therefore the reset uh, the reset tools apparently 
So there's obviously some settings in here. I don't know whether I can see that straight away on here. No, I can't see that, but I'll put, ah, there we go. Uh, you probably can't see that in this light. Uh, try and get that. There you go, there's a little bit button inside there and that'll reset your, your settings. So the thing that I love about this is it's actually the profile. So this side here, your mount goes on your helmet, obviously this slots in and it can adjust uh, up and down, but also it's got a, I can't remember how many degrees exactly, I'll, I'll check later, but it's, uh, this lens rotates. So you, you don't have to mess around with, you know, something that looks like Lego scaffolding coming out the side of your helmet and looking ridiculous. Uh, or, you know, sticking it on top of your head like the GoPro session and ending up looking like a Teletubby. Uh, you know, they, they just look ridiculous. So yeah, they're really, I think that's a fantastic design. Um, I don't know how easy that is to, to move, but uh, I'll, have a go with it with two hands rather than the one. Um, okay, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, as I thought, it's really easy to move this. It does just tilt uh, one way or the other. I can't do it with uh, a single hand, unfortunately. I need to be holding it as well. So you've got the uh, power on button, which is a quick start button. I haven't actually charged mine yet. I'll get that charged up and put that on the video. You've also got the wireless indicator on there, so you can actually uh, transfer things uh, back and forth wirelessly. Um, I believe also this does uh, th through your phone, but uh, this will allow you to do live streaming as well. Um, it's a really good battery life. The manufacturer is saying that it's a five hour battery, and uh, just with this standard battery, and then you can also uh, in in this side bit this this bit here can actually come off and uh, you can fit an extended battery into there um so it's, yeah it's really really good five hours is more than enough um people have said that that's not a um exaggerated claim either we uh, you know we're getting um the full five hours so um i'll put that to the test and make sure and and upload the results okay so uh, apart from it obviously being a, a cam a video camera um, it does take uh, still shots as well as you would expect and uh, that's a 12 megapixel uh, camera in there so um, hoping that the uh, stills are going to be as good as the video um, yeah the, the lens I did find out it was uh, it's 300 degrees that that can rotate through so any kind of wacky setup that you've got um, on your helmet, this should this should cover it. I don't know whether you can see in here. Yeah, you can there. Um, these little splines in here, um, they enable the, the sort of um, micro adjustment for, for this kind of movement. Um, so yeah, should be able to get that set up and going. All right, I'm gonna get this charged now and uh, show you the rest. Having a quick look at the uh, quick start guide, I love the description of the buttons. Rear button, middle button, front button. Right, thanks for that. That's awesome. Okay, so underneath the camera, you've got these two little uh, covers. And if I can peel one of those off, you can see that that's the uh, USB connection in there. And then um, if I can get that off. Very difficult with one finger. Well, in here, believe me, <laughs> is the uh, micro SD slot. Ah, come on, gotcha. Um, I don't know whether we can see that properly. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's a micro SD slot. I've gone for, um, well, I'll put the link uh, below. I got mine from Amazon, uh, 128 gig. It's a uh, 100 meg read speed. Um, which is, you know, that's that's fine for reading, but what you really need is something that can write fast as well, because obviously when you're recording, you're writing, not reading. So um, yeah, apparently it's, it it do, doesn't specify actually the right time, because I think that's dependent on the device itself. They can never guarantee it. So, uh, but yeah, I went for a um, 
hundred, I think it was a hundred times speed, but like I say, I'll put the, uh, the link below in the description. Okay, so one thing I did uh, forget to show was uh, inside the box where it's mounted here, behind that piece of cardboard is this. And this has got the splines, which I was showing you earlier, that match up. This uh, then fits into one of the mounts, whichever one you decide to put it in. And uh, yeah, you turn that sort of thumb screw, you can see a bit in there. You turn that thumb screw, tighten it up, and that just slots in, clips in, keeps it nice and secure. So uh, mine's on charge now. The initial charge is two and a half hours. Uh, there's absolutely no charge in it whatsoever, which is uh, fairly unusual, but there you go. It's always better to charge it up fully the first time. And uh, yeah, apparently the, the battery will last much longer doing that. Okay, so this is the micro SD card that I got. It's a SanDisk. I'll put the uh, link in the description. Uh, got that off Amazon. Uh, I think it was about £20 or something like that. And that's the uh, the, the 100, 100 megasecond. So 667 times whatever that is. I guess the, the standard speed. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, so that's where the uh, micro SD card goes, and that's now in there, as you can see, just. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this on. I've had this on charge for two and a half hours, and I don't think it's actually charged. So um, there was there was no indicator light or anything. So uh, I'll have to check that out. The battery level did look low though when I when I checked a second ago. If you just hold the power button for a couple of seconds and a screen will come on. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see this or not. Uh, let's try and focus. There we go. Okay, so um, you've got that um, top left corner. That's telling us that it's video mode. The right hand side looks like a K, but that's actually the field of uh, vision. So it was actually on, uh, I think it was like 145 degrees, and that gives you that roundish, you know, like fisheye type lens view, which I'm not that keen on, so I've taken that off. Um, and taken it down slightly to 115 degrees. Sorry, I'm trying to get this uh, to focus in properly. The uh, backlight is killing it a bit. So this uh, 080 that you can see is actually 1080. Uh, 30 frames a second uh, the 2 is showing me the um, amount of clips that I've got on there you've got the battery life on the bottom left and you've also got um, the capacity on the um, on the micro SD card on the, on the right so uh, this might be uh, difficult to show let's see if we can get this to focus in a bit better but this, bu this button here is like you scroll through your options and this is like, <coughs> sorry, this one here, the middle button is like your select. So if I go into here, hopefully we can, oh God, sorry about this. It's absolutely terrible for, uh, for this camera. So there we can scroll through the different types of options. Um, it changes color depending on what mode you've got it in. Then you've got your settings menu. Um, if I just go into there, I can, if I press this button here, the select button, um, that'll switch the Wi-Fi on, which allows you to then uh, do a live view, see whether your setup's right. That's how I knew that the field of view was, was not right for me. Um, yeah, so um, you, you set that on, uh, to on, then you connect your, I've got an iPhone, so connect your iPhone to um, the Wi-Fi network, which it broadcasts for you. Um, that's got a default password on there of 12345678900. Yeah, very secure, but I guess you're not really going to have that much on there that's, that's uh, too sensitive. Um, the next one down says FOV. Um, that's 115 degrees 
the one down after that. So, oops, I've pressed select rather than scroll down. So that's switching the Wi-Fi on. You can see it's that'll come on. Gives a beep and then tells you that that, that the Wi-Fi is actually on. Um, now I'm turning it off. Right, yeah. So the next one is field of view. Uh, you've got exposure settings, self timer, bit rate. I'm leaving bit rate as medium. Uh, yeah, apparently if you put it on large, the actual uh, quality of video is is a lot better, but the, the file size is absolutely massive. So leave that where it is. Uh, filters, you can do that for different types of days. So if you've got a cloudy day, like dark day or whatever, there's all sorts of filters in there uh, to mess around with. All this is accessible through the app as well. Um, which is called, I think it was called Drift Life or something. Um, so yeah, um, and that's available on Play Store and uh, on iOS as well. So um, then we've got, uh, let's have a look here, the uh, ISO sensitivity. Sorry about the stableness of this video. It's, uh, yeah, I haven't got my um, old, old camera with the tripod. Uh, so I'm having to use my phone uh let's have a look keep going video tagging which is brilliant uh, i love this feature so if you put it in the um dvr mode which is a continuous loop it you know when it gets to the end of your memory it'll just erase whatever's at the start if you've tagged something um it will keep that it won't overwrite it so no matter how long you're going for say you had it powered up and you were going for six hours and you could only store an hour of video, it would record all of that um, and it would just keep overwriting it. But if you tag something, it keeps that. Now you can actually set the length of tag, which I have done. Uh, I think it's anywhere from 30 seconds and I've set it to two minutes and that's two minutes before and two minutes after you've pressed the button to tag it. Uh, I've yet to find out which button it is to tag, but I think, I believe it's this one. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll check that out later on. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, yeah, there you go, tag interval. I've set mine for two minutes, so that'll give me uh, four minutes of video. So two minutes before and two minutes after, yeah, give me four minutes. Uh, car DVR is exactly what I was talking about. That'll actually just keep running and running um, until, um, yeah, until basically you've tagged so much that your memory is full. Um, the interval, uh, so you can have it in so many segments. It's currently set to one minute, so it'll do a one minute clip and then it'll cut off and do another one minute clip. Um, I guess that's the easiest way to keep the file sizes down. Um, and, and get the best out of your card, but I'll probably increase that a little bit. Uh, what have we got? Microphone sensitivity. That's something I'm going to play with uh, once I get the um, external microphone, which should be here shortly. Uh, speaker volume. It can actually play back through, through this speaker. So, yeah, that's pretty obvious what that is. LED status indicator is the indicator at the, the back that lit up, like for the Wi-Fi. Uh, instant record, why you wouldn't have that, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I've enabled that. Um, and then you've got the, you know, various date functions and startup modes. And as I say, all that is ac accessible through the uh, um, Drift Life uh, app that connects directly to your uh, to your camera so that's it for now um i think the next stage is obviously to uh, get some video and show you guys uh, exactly how well this works um unlike this iphone camera which is absolutely shocking for some reason at the moment i think it's that blue light that's uh, sending it a little bit crazy yeah there you go straight into focus as soon as i take that off um okay so um we'll see you in the next one Thanks for watching.